Brothers and sisters, this is the true house of faith, and I am the one true God. Hail, brother God! Hail, hail! For we are the hive of humanity, and nothing will stand in our way. Ten times the Jewish contract is about a man calling himself by the blood. And he is a cult leader, he's on TV, he, he is a well-known face, and he wants to become, become a god. And he believes the way to, to become a god is by hiring a man calling himself Deathstroke, Slay Wilson. And he hires Deathstroke to hunt down the Teen Titans who have been wrecking the shipment deals that he's been doing to not kill the Teen Titans, but take down the Teen Titans, Kit, take them away towards him uh, to Bio Blood to take away their abilities and powers and mush them together to make him into a god. The Dude's Contract is probably the most well-known Teen Titans storyline from the comics and me who hasn't read the story, um, like I knew Deathstroke was in the story but that was kind of it. I came from this movie with fresh eyes, with fresh um, where I first suspected for things, and I will say this, I don't know if people who have read the, the comic, um, how they feel about it, but for me, this is amazing, this is a movie, this felt like an actual movie, this sadly is on Spike the DVD and doesn't have the biggest animated budget, and, and, because if this was in theaters I won't lie this movie would have been um would have been had people butts and seats because it's super layered and it's animated layered but three the w people critics will be praising it audiences will be praising it and how real it feels um yeah the, the characters felt real and you know this being I guess sequel to the previous Teen Titans and Man movie uh, Teen Titans vs Justice League which I thought it was okay I thought it was uh, okay you yeah, know this felt okay there's a middle whoa you know here's a good guy here's a bad guy this introduced the Teen Titans and boom and you end your movie it you yeah, know I thought it was okay this one um let me care about the characters and understand who, why the characters are acting like they are. I mean, you got uh, Blue Beetle. If you don't know who Blue Be uh, Beetle is, he is this teenage kid who has a robotic alien bug on his back that has a mind of his own. So occasionally, you know, the bug will transform the suit out of the blue without even having his control on things. So, um, and because of that, there's that there's a storyline of maybe maybe not he is able to see his folks again. Um, the new member of the of the Titans, you got Terra, who has the power. She basically had um, ground powers. Her story is probably the darkest because basically, you know, at the beginning she's this kind of kid who you, for me, I first didn't like, but then you find out her past and you're like. Oh, I understand why. Um, you know, she you know, at the beginning she doesn't like anyone. She doesn't like Robin or Beast Boy. Beast Boy definitely because she finds Beast Boy annoying while Beast Boy has a thing for her. And it's um the past you're like understandably why she is distant to everyone, why she doesn't connect to anyone, or why she doesn't even want to care wants to care about anyone. Um she has um some dark shit. Now, also, this is a very dark movie because due to the fact you got Desro hunting the Titans to bring brother, brother blood to suck out their lives and energy and their powers into this one guy who wants to become a god. The way Desro does it, it's more not just here's some physical fights they get they get beaten and then you know you get the big anali at the end of the times of fighting by the, by the blood it's mentally uh this way, uh take, takes down the titans mentally because you know you have you know nightwing and starfire moving in together because they're a thing which 
I love their relationship. There's some funny things. There's some funny like I love Starfire because Starfire is like you know she's an alien, but she will always be the alien who doesn't know the customs of people's ways. Like her wording of things, like out of the blue, kisses. You know, fight. You know, at the beginning, it's it's um, you know, she kisses Nightwing out of the blue because that's a way they um. Her, her, um, her, her kind, her alien ways, uh, uh, gives information by kissing, and <laughs> that was com funny. And Deathstroke, all the Deathstroke stuff, is the most thrilling, uh, the most chilling, the most, you know, those type of villains where you're like, I hope you get what up to them. Um, that you want the Titans just beat the living shit out of them. Love the music. I do want to get the soundtrack. The animation. I think they probably up the animation. They up its budget just because this is the Judas contract. I would like to say that to kill joke, but because this is Judas contract, and they realize this is a big one. This is a big one. This is not. This is not. We're basing. We're not just making our own story. This is based on existing material. So they're probably up the budget to to the movie. Um, yeah, occasional cheap thing, but it's they basically up the budget when it comes to action. The the main problem I have is these damn cut the black moments. Every after the thirty minute mark, there are these lot of cut the black stuff where you know it's like someone's telling you this is Act One. This is Act 2, this is Act 3, and this is Act 4. Um, this is how things going to wrap up. And it felt like, come on. Come on. Really, stop this cut the black stuff. You can easily just jump to the next scene. Oh, so one of the issues I have is sometimes the dialogue can go really bad and macho. I mean, Desperate does say something really like, I have cleaned your shit. And I'm like... Are you trying to say some macho, badass 90s action dialogue? Because this sounds horrible. I, I think this movie is fantastic of a movie. This is a... If you have never seen the Teen Titans ever, I think you will understand who these characters are. Um, I think LA will get the idea who Nightwing and, 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 and Robin is because, you know, they're Batman related characters, but... Um, if you have never seen any of these anime movies, these DC anime movies, if you have never seen uh, the Justice League vs. Teen Titans, because I was kind of like, like, what happened to Cyborg? We'll catch up who these characters are, you're going to care about these characters on the fly, and it's just, wow. I'm just, I'm just surprised. Oh, you want to play? I'm gonna enjoy shutting you up. Metreon Synthos! Take heart, sinner. You are about to become part of the greater good. We're gonna show you the greater good! Do you ever get out of that uniform? Only when I bathe. Might be time. I'm good.